Right now, we are still following the latest out of Ansonia and Derby, where Eversource customers still without gas this morning. Crews working hard to restore gas for thousands of customers there. And joining us over the phone, Mitch Gross from Eversource. Hopefully, you can give us an update on how the efforts are going this morning. Mitch, uh, thank you for joining us this morning. First of all, can you tell us just how many people were affected at the peak? And is everybody who was first affected still affected now? How many people are we talking about? Well, Tim and Ashley, good morning. We've restored approximately 2,100 customers, and there are about 140 customers remaining uh, to get the, the natural gas back on. Do you expect these restoration efforts to be complete by the end of the day? We are pushing as much as we can. We're coordinating with those remaining customers. As you know, we have to get back inside those, those addresses, those homes, or those businesses. So we are coordinating with those customers. Um, and as soon as we can get inside, we're asking for someone 18 or older to be there. If, uh, you know, it's, usually it takes just minutes. The technicians come in. They are they have been screened for COVID-19. They are wearing PPE. Um, and they come inside. They take a look at the meter, the appliances. If everything checks out, they will relight the appliances, do a visual check, and be out of there in a matter of minutes. It's just getting inside to those remaining addresses to take care of business. Is that all they're doing inside, or are they trying to fix something as opposed to just relighting and checking everything? If there is an issue, Tim, they will make the customer aware of it, and we will work with the customer to make sure that that appliance is working safely. How many families ended up evacuating when this news first came in on Tuesday night? I know that was there, not there were no, there were no evacuations, okay. Ashley. There, there was never a safety issue. We moved quickly to uh, to shut down the system and alert our customers. We worked with t uh, the officials in Derby and Ansonia extensively, but no, there were never any evacuations needed. So can, can you tell us in sort of layman's terms what exactly happened? I know it was reported it was a low pressure issue, but is this just a, a problem in one area of the gas line, like uh, the equivalent of a blown transformer, or was the problem more systemic? What really happened? It was one little, it was one valve, Tim. That's the simplest way I can say it. There was a blockage caused by a malfunctioning underground valve. Our technicians found that valve, dug it up, and replaced it, and the gas is flowing as it should throughout the system. All right. Well, some good news there. Most of the people in that area back on the grid this morning. Okay. You said uh, 140 more to go, Mitch? Approximately 140. Uh, the technicians are out there. They'll be knocking on doors all morning, and we'll get in touch with those uh, customers and get them back on. All right, Mitch Gross, thank you uh, so much for taking the time to join us to give us that update. We do appreciate it. Thank you.